All right, everybody, it's uh, February 21st, 2020. I'm doing this video just as a short recap of how everything around you and you yourself work. This in front of you is my version of a tourist field. Now, this isn't exactly how they look. This is just how I saw it in my mind's eye. Uh, we have usually a masculine, a masculine side and a feminine side. Now, I said feminine on the double because feminine seems more powerful. It literally has to pull in the masculine flow. So masculine shoots out. Well, the feminine has to be strong enough to pull it back and around. So she has to ultimately be a little bit stronger than the masculine. Now, that's not all the time, but that's, you know, basic order of the universe. It's going to go out and then come back. Most of it's going to come back around. Some of it's going to go out into the ether. Uh, that being said, this Taurus field is what all matter, all everything every electron which is the whole universe really all all what we call reality this this physical reality is all electrons floating around in the ether there's many people out there that are explaining the same thing you can look at roger roger spur on mud fossil university uh ben davidson and Suspic suspicious observers uh douglas vote die hold foundation there's there's all kinds of people you can give shout outs to to they're talking about similar things maybe not the same exact thing i'm talking about but that's that's the best way to do it. I don't want us all to be just repeating what we hear each other say. But we're all getting pieces of this puzzle. So this is just one more piece of the puzzle for you. So you have a torus field. This is right here. It's called the dielectric plane. This is where matter is essentially created. The physical matter. So this would be the magnetic field around. And then as it's spinning, you get this dielectric accretion disk. So when you're looking at the Milky Way galaxy, I don't have a picture of that in front of me. Uh, you would see the disk. Well, that's where all the stars and planets are, right around here. And then this would be the magnetic field. Now, it doesn't mean this isn't there. You don't see it. What we see in our reality would be more like that, just a jet shooting out. But we miss this part because we don't see an infrared and ultraviolet. So, you have the dielectric plane, which is what matter gives mass to matter. Everything is a torus field flowing like that. It's all energy. It's all resonance. Everything has its own frequency. Everything, absolutely everything, from the carpet I'm sitting on to the plants next to me to the chalkboard I, I wrote this on, to my hand. Everything has its own frequency. Every molecule in my hand has its own frequency. Every little area, the blood vessels resonate differently than the skin cells. The skin cells resonate differently than the mud, uh, the bone cells. I almost said mud cells. Mud fossil. Maybe one day that's what they'll become. Uh, anyway, the reason we're discussing this is the next board we have. That is our solar system. Solar system. Now this isn't exact. I said this before in previous videos, but this is a general idea, the general layout of what we have. We have the sun in the middle, Sol. Terra is the Earth. Luna is the moon. Jupiter, Venus, Mars, etc., etc., etc. Now these, every planet, and the stars, they all resonate. They all have a torus field. Every one of them. So Earth has a magnetic field. You guys know this. You've seen this in school. We have a magnetic field going around the Earth. Now, the sun has a corona, a magnetic field. The uh, Venus does. Or Mars does. Now, some of these plants say, well, they don't have a magnetic field. You know, the magnetic field is stripped off because the core is dead. Inaccurate. The truth is the magnetic field isn't strong enough for them to qualify it as a magnetic field, but there's still a field there because why? You should know this from what I just discussed. It's matter. It's made of matter. Every single molecule, every single atom has a magnetic field around it. Otherwise, it wouldn't be there. So you cannot say these planets don't like Mars doesn't have a magnetic field or a weak magnet. It has a weak magnetic field, sure, compared to the Earth. But still has a magnetic field. They all do. Everything does. Everything that's existing. A speck of dust has a magnetic field around it. Just because it's so small, we don't equate it to what we think of as a magnetic field like Earth. doesn't mean it's not there. So this is why our world works. Well, this is, this is how and why our world works. Our reality works. Everything is frequency and numbers. Also, this is why every so often, soul decides to... I heard this today... Uh, I think the video, the, I don't want to even say the name right now because I may have it wrong. Uh, a really popular YouTube channel right now. 
discuss the Carrington event. In the 1800s, there was a Carrington event right at the turn of the century that the sun literally cracked a whip right towards the earth. And when this Carrington event left the sun, it was a coronal mass ejection. It wasn't as massive as you know they can be, but part of this corona that was around this sun magnetic field shot right at earth. And when it hits earth, our field reacts and then gets blown back this way. And when that happens, the electrons flow right into our planet, which then fries the telegraph circuits and then fries, if it happened today, cell phones and literally everything made of everything that runs on electricity. And it would also change our DNA of our bodies. It will change our DNA of our bodies because this does happen. It happens all the time and it will happen again. Now, there's, excuse me, the Adam and Eve story by Chan Thomas. Um, I'll give a shout out to Ben Davidson uh, and Suspect Skies uh, site as well. Suspicious Observers and Suspect Sky. It's Ben Davidson and his buddy run Suspect Sky. I am very sorry, I can't think of your name at the moment. It's going to come back to me in a minute. Uh, they're the ones who showed me, taught me, and shared with me the Adam and Eve story. I mean, they shared with all of us. They did on YouTube. But that's where I found out about it. And that book describes beautifully, really, how... What happens? The the pole... So Earth, Terra, is resonating. She's, she's vibrating. She's shaking. Her field, this field is flowing at a certain pace. This is spinning at a certain pace. This is spinning at a certain, you know, circulating a certain pace, which makes this vibrate. And as it's vibrating, it's resonating with the ether around it. Now, when Earth is free, we're going to just throw random numbers out there that don't mean anything, but say Earth is frequency is 1. Right now we know it's like 7.86 and it fluctuates up to 14. Sometimes it goes up to 40 hertz and then back down. But right now we'll just say... For conversation, let's keep it at 7. We'll say 7 hertz. Now, when Earth is resonating a frequency that does not work well with this sun and all these planets around it, the system that it's a part of, she has one choice. She either has to change her frequency or go away. So this is all magnetically, I don't want to say locked, but it's they're, they're embraced. They embrace each other in a dance, uh, a symphony of vibration. And this vibration allows them to work together and flow together and, and rotate certain ways and, and stay in certain areas that they're at. And it's all beautifully designed. But when consciousness, human beings, animals, it, it could be anything, when consciousness, it's, it's usually human beings because everything else pretty much does its part living in, in harmony. Humans, when we're out of balance, when consciousness is out of balance, I don't want to say humans because everything's conscious. When consciousness is out of balance, this frequency can change. So, say it goes up to 12 from 7. Well, 12 doesn't mesh with Jupiter. It doesn't mesh with Uranus. Soul, Venus, Uranus, I'm sorry. Mercury. So, these guys are expecting 7s out of Earth, but she's putting out 12 because she's inflamed. She has inflammation because we're burning fossil fuels. We have endless wars for no reason at all. Besides destroying consciousness, really, just bringing us out of balance. The wars are all bullshit. I could prove that in 